I'm Sparky and welcome back to the Nintendo Hub. Now there's a game I got last year, I played this year, it came out last year called Toem by a Swedish developer, something we made um, on a few platforms, but I played this on the Nintendo Switch uh, earlier this year, completed it and had a great time doing so. And I thought it would be a game that uh, I'd like to share with you in case you've overlooked it or haven't had a chance to play this. It's um, a short game, probably maybe five, six, seven hours really, uh, depending on if you want to... Um, 100% complete all the levels. There's about seven or eight small levels and you have to solve them all using a camera. So um, I've started a new um, file, so a save file here because I couldn't create an additional one um, on the game and uh, this is the very start, this is the introduction now of the game. So you're this sort of Scandinavian looking creature here, I'm not quite sure what you, what you are exactly, um, and you move around in these beautiful little black and white worlds where you can have full control of the camera zooming it around which you'll need sometimes to discover what's behind objects and also you can move the camera uh, way out and way in and I love the fact that as, as close as you get it always keeps a really nice resolution it doesn't get texturized or blurry or anything and you interact with the environment by pressing A for a lot of things so for example if we look at the television here and I press A it just switches that on and off but there's lots of little things that happen uh, when you interact with them around the around this world okay so i've just found a, a backpack which i'll use a lot during the game like the oscar's trophy there it's interesting this is my desk maybe where i do my homework and stuff or looks like a mouse there that's been unplugged i think the art style is lovely it's really simple it's really clean now let's hop out of here and go through into the next room. Oh, did you hear that fire crackling away in the background? It's beautiful. There's some, there's some lovely sound effects in this game. Um, particularly later on, there's a great scene where you're like in the playground and you have all these children laughing in the background. It's beautiful. And some of the music's exceptional as well. And you can choose what tracks to listen to later on in the game. Okay, I think this is your grandmother that you live with. Let's have a chat with her. Um, I'm excited. Yeah, we don't get to see the picture. But I'll see that for myself at the end of the game. Okay, she's giving me my camera, which looks like a... Vintage camera dynamic zoom. This could be the same camera that she used in her journey. Okay, so the camera is the base, the whole game is based around the camera. You use that to fulfill challenges and find things on each level. But the mechanics are really nice. So I'm pressing X to, to, to open up the camera, the right stick just to zoom in and out, and move around anywhere I like to. And you can almost do like a. Um, you can take selfies as well in this game. So here's a selfie of me, me and my gran, and the ZR button to take the picture. And you have an album, which they did an update to the game a few months back where you can now store more photographs in your album. And um, you can 100% complete certain levels by taking the pictures of all the animals or all the residents, etc. So it's up to you really how many you want to take, but uh, you can store loads. I, had, I didn't have any, any trouble or running out of space in my album. Okay, so I haven't, I haven't actually taken a picture of her yet, which I'll do now. I was too busy taking a selfie, so let's... Um, Zoom in, take it by the fireplace, let's save that to the album. So I can go into album by pressing plus there and you see the two pictures I've taken already. Okay, let's show the photograph. She likes this. Oh, thank you very much, I'm natural. Let's go outside. I think there's a frame up here, an empty frame. So yeah, let's frame a picture. Let's frame this one of her. There we go, that's the picture we've just taken. That's a nice little touch, isn't it? Uh, no, I'm happy with that, that picture. 
And again, you can just check out the environment by rotating the camera 360. Everything still looks lovely. Let's wander outside and see what's outside. Before you can start your journey, we need to set you up with a traveling system. This fellow will help you. I'll just wait over there. Okay. Hi there. Welcome to Homelander. Home sweet home. Are you going on the journey? Yeah, I'm going on the journey. Okay, great. He's offering free bus rides to those who help the community. And you sure look ready to help out. So here, take this. So this community card is the basis for each level. It tells you what you need to do, what you need to find, what puzzles you need to solve. And later on, there might be 12, 13 of them, but you only need maybe seven or eight to progress to the next level. So it's up to you if you want to 100% it then or come back at a later stage. You can come back to any level after you finished it. And pull community cards, okay. And each time you complete a mission in the level, you get a little stamp on your community card. So here I just need to get one stamp to get the bus right to the next level. Usually it's sort of seven or eight, nine stamps. Okay, thank you. Hey, <laughs> some of the animals look amazing. and It looks like this guy's been made out of sort of a card and stuck together like with pins and stuff on the joints. So let's take a picture of this of this cow here. That looks good, nice and close. Companion updated. So if we go to my album here, we can see if we scroll across the R buttons that I've got a picture of the cow there. And you can you know you can see how many bugs and animals and fish and everything you need to to capture to 100 percent that compendium. Now you don't have to do it all but it's it's quite good fun and it never feels like a grind. Um, the other thing you do is you make good use of rotating the camera in and out and around so just to find secrets that are hidden around the levels like like this present here. I'm not quite sure what was in this. We found a pair of Swedish clogs. For walking short distances. I won't put them on just just yet. But you find these items like um, different shoes, you get different hats and clothing that he can wear throughout the game. Uh, the, the gameplay does mix up a little bit at times. You might need a certain pair of shoes to maybe climb up a slippy slope, etc. But it's all good fun. Okay, let's my gran. Let's have a chat with her again. So you need stamps to take the bus? Well, let me help you out. How about you take a nice photograph of me? I'm ready when you are. Okay, so let's take a nice photograph of my gran. Press X for the camera. And should we have a wide shot or should I zoom in? Let's have a wide shot this time with her outside her house. Save to album. Yes, please. Later on in the game, you can get um, filters for the camera, which are great to make them monochrome and sort of watercolor and all sorts of things and different frames as well. Um, okay, let's come out here and show the picture we've just taken. No, it's not the cow. So we're going to page across using the L button. So the one we've just taken outside. It looks great, thank you. And so young, of course. That should give me a stamp. You place a stamp anywhere you like in the card. And that now is enough to move on to the next level. I think. So, off you go, yeah. We'll have a quick look around before we move on here. Okay, who's this little fella? He's got a gift for me, excellent. Back in the day I used to walk everywhere in them. You found them already? Good job. So he must have um, hidden those clogs. So I'm going to stamp this here. There's two stamps. And you can see this is two out of three, so there's one more stamp to do on this level. But I don't need to do them on to move do them all to move on. What's that question mark here? Wait for the bus. Yeah, let's wait for the bus. I'm going to show you what the next level looks like because this is only a small level here. Uh, that's home. So to get to the next stop. Come back later, huh? Oh, do I need to give my stamp to this guy first? Okay, I need to go and see him first. Come on. 
Now we can go back to the bus stop. Yeah, wait for the bus. I'll travel there, yeah. Oh! What have I forgotten? Uh, I think Ren's always going to be there whenever I need her, so let's jump on the bus, see where it takes me. Oakleville. I know that the cotton pups around here somewhere. Lots of cool things here. Go and explore and get back to me once you have enough stamps. So you need seven stamps on this level. When I'm here, let's take a picture of this little fella. Just in case, you never know. Move the camera around. Anything else worth taking a picture of? Ah, who's this? Interesting. I'll take a picture of, I mean, I'd take a picture of all sorts of things. You never know when. Uh, I'm not going to save that because I can take a better one when you might need one of these. Yep, I'll save that and I'll go through here. Okay, so let's zoom out so we can have a look at where we are. Yeah, so it's a stunning looking game. I remember seeing this at an indie showcase I think earlier last year and it stood out straight away for me. Let's quickly, when we're here, have a look in here. At any time you can get your camera to, uh, to look around. Yeah, can't beat a picture of a nice cat. That's Oscar, so he's, um, he's, he's one ticked off. I'm not sure who this guy is. I think he owns, I think this is the hotel. Have you heard about the monsters lurking around? No. There's monsters all over the place. They're quite good at hiding. But unfortunately, they still smell so bad you can see the stench. I'd love to see some photographs of the monsters you find. Okay. So if I go to the menu here, I might be able to see um, what I need to do on this level. Here we go, monster spotter, become a paparazzi, become a flower. And as she speaks to more people, the undiscovered um, uh, missions become readable. So you see what you need to do. Like for example, if I speak to this guy here. Hands off my spaghetti, he's dreaming, I think, come on. Okay, he's not saying very much. Let's just pop outside and have a look. And on each level you find one of these sort of scout guys is that in the photo challenger guild it will always give you new things to find so i'll say yeah see what this one is okay so let's have a look at my card and see what challenge he's just added for me become a flower okay You get some, um, I won't spoil it for you, you get some little mini games on some of the levels which, is, which are quite fun. I think it probably took me seven, maybe seven hours I think to finish the game. I know it's probably 95% completed, there's a few things I didn't get around to. But I had a real good time doing it, so a very relaxing game and it looks great playing handheld too. Yeah, let's play hide and seek with this guy. Different levels take into different environments. You go to a busy city, you go out by like by a port, you go into the mountains at the end. Uh, how do I do this? I have to wander up here. Get my camera out here. Oh, here we go. I've got to take a picture of his pals here. Okay, I found him. Yes, two. The 
is number three. Oh, he's fairly high up, isn't he? So yeah, there's, I mean, some of the sounds are pretty easy to get. Some of them take a bit longer to, to work out. There's a couple I was a bit stuck on, to be, to be honest, but... I thought, um, also, when I'm here, sometimes you can find some hidden thing. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think that might be useful later on. Glasses. These are cool because when you put these on, you can actually see the ghosts. Yeah, so for example, if I go into my adventure here and I take my ghost glasses, am I wearing these now? Actually, I'm wearing them. Can I take them off? No, I'll just leave them on anyway. Now I can speak to the ghosts and you get extra missions then. Okay, let's quickly pop up here. Don't think there's too much to do up here. Oh. There we go. A picture of him in the uh, compendium. Not sure if he's anywhere else in the game, but he's down there anyway. So. Let's just quickly show you one another part of this level. Oh, here's a playground that I mentioned earlier on, but I really like the sound effects here. The more people you speak, the more missions you unlock. Yeah, I think this is the guy I saw earlier on when in the hide and seek game, hiding behind the bushes and the big overcoat and the sunglasses. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, so where is that picture? Oh, here he is. It's worth taking pictures of things because you don't know when you might be asked them later on. Just save yourself time. And if it goes to this um, scout guy in the photographer's guild, he'll give me some more things to find. And you have to unblock this pathway at some stage as well. So I hope this little, uh, little um, few minutes playing term gives you an idea what the game has to offer. Um, the levels are all, there's got a lot of variety in the levels, a lot of different things you have to find. The mechanics are pretty much uh, similar, but 
the way it's written, the way the music's presented, it's just it's it's, it's good fun to play, and I enjoyed it. Um, it's probably one of my favorite games of the last year. I'm not sure how much it costs now in the eShop. I mean, some of the music later on it is really, really good. I mean, there's, sort of, there's rap music, there's all sorts of things. It's not all quite as peaceful and relaxing as this, but it's, it's just a, a fun game to play. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this today. If you can help us do, uh, here at the Nintendo Hub doing what we're doing best and what we like playing games, just please subscribe and help us out. And um, I look forward to hopefully catching up with you soon with our next video. So thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, take care. Thank <laughs> you.